Okay, I, I want to go across at this stage to, uh, to Mr. O.P. Singh, the Director General of the National Disaster Relief Force. Uh, he heads an agency uh, that is uh, the most specialized and the best trained agency in this country and the best equipped to deal with situations like this. Firstly, sir, is there any evidence of minibuses being under the debris even now? Vishnu, can you repeat the question? I sir, haven't heard you properly. Yeah, sir, is there uh, any evidence to suggest that there are still minibuses trapped under the debris as of now? Uh, Vishnu, I can't tell you uh, exactly because this is what the people have been talking about, but I'm not very sure about it. Unless the rubble is cleared uh, completely or even partially, we cannot uh, get inside and start the search operations. We have been doing a little bit of search operations where we extricated three dead bodies, uh, one of them being a, a women's dead body. But apart from that, we can't say authoritatively how many people are trapped or with, is there any bus which is inside the, inside the rubble. Uh, uh, apart from that, you know, we have, though we are carrying all kinds of sophisticated equipments, but it's difficult to say right now. Uh, let, me, let me take some more time to give you an authoritative answer. Our operation will continue throughout the night and we'll be in a position to tell you exactly how many people are trapped inside or even a bus is trapped inside only after some time. Yeah. Un uh, unless we start our search operations, we cannot, uh, we cannot say. Um, sir, um, in terms of um, the, the, the thickness of the, the structure itself, how many feet are, uh, are your drills having to penetrate? Uh, I ask this because I'm trying to get some sort of indicator from you on how much time it may take before you are able to actually dig through to the bottom of the debris to get to whatever potentially lies underneath. Uh, it's not very audible, but uh, all that I've heard and I can understand what you are saying, uh, what you are asking is how much time will it take to uh, 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 are you asking the uh, uh, timeline or? Uh, no, uh, sir, I'm asking about. Uh, I'm not, uh, sir, I am long. asking the timeline. I'm asking how deep is the debris, uh, because that would give us an indicator of the time you need to drill through it. How big is the debris? You know, the, uh, the last report I heard was. Uh, that it's being cleared manually. All the agencies are working together. They are trying to clear it manually because it's not uh, possible for any crane, for, for any earth movers or uh, other big machinery to come inside because of the <coughs> area being so uh, crowded. So they are doing it manually. So it will take some time. Uh, I, I can't tell you exact time, but it, it's going to take some time. Uh, sir, you make a very important point uh, that the area is very congested. Um, is that your biggest problem now that y the, the very heaviest equipment that you require in terms of cranes and things aren't able to get to the area that you need them? Yeah, that's one of the problems. It's one of the impediments because uh, the area being so crowded, congested, uh, naturally you have a lot many problems. You have the problems of accessibility, you have the problems of connectivity, you have the traffic problem, you have... Uh, the, the clearance of the route problem, even if somebody gets injured and he has to be evacuated and uh, taken to the hospital, you need the road to be cleared. Even the response teams, uh, they, they, they have to reach there well in time, very quickly, but because of the, uh, nature, of the nature of the locality, it becomes difficult. So these are some of the challenges we often face and we often face during such eventualities. All right, uh, answer uh, a couple of other questions. Firstly, the equipment that you are using, um, uh, and we've seen this in, in Nepal as well. So you've got uh, acoustic sensors to pick up sound, is that correct? Uh, thermal cameras, what else are you using? Yeah, absolutely, you said it right. Uh, we are carrying all kinds of equipment through noise, through sense, uh, through cameras. We try to capture the images. Uh, victim locating cameras are there and the life detectors are there. So we are carrying all those equipments and uh, uh, we are also carrying our sniffer dogs. We have our different kind of cutters, gas cutters, angle cutters. Uh, if we have to cut anything, the concretes or the iron sheets, then perhaps we'll, we can cut them. Then we have the hydraulic uh, jacks also through which we can uh, lift something. Air lifting bag is there. 
then you have the chipping hammers all these equipments are there we are not uh, we are not short of equipments uh, all that we need is uh, that you know the little bit of clearance of the rubble so that we can start the, our search operations in a very massive and professional way we have okay. been doing it uh, for the last couple of hours but uh, not not very effectively because of the rubbles all right uh, mr opc thank you very much uh, to, uh, to for speaking to us uh, the director general of the national disaster relief force talking about the rescue efforts uh, which are taking place